Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and we've got our pre-release pack that we're going to open up here today. Now, I, I wanted to pair this with a collector booster pack and open this in a collector booster pack so we can keep trying to find some cool Godzilla cards. Unfortunately, I did it kind of last minute and uh, couldn't find anything. That's a bummer. Yeah, so if you haven't uh, followed me on TikTok yet, make sure to give me a follow. Lockdown 5151. So yeah, uh, didn't go super well trying to find one of those, and I'm unfortunately in a state that's still on lockdown. So all of my LGSs are closed. I would have gone there first, but they are all shut down still. So I'm out of luck. So we're just going to open up the pre-release pack and hope to find some really nice pulls. So let's get this thing open. Yeah, there we go. Nice Triome promo card or something, maybe. That'd be sweet. Open this up. Boom. A nice die. And we'll put this ever so carefully to the edge there. We'll open that at the end. So we've got six packs. We get our little tokens. Nice divider with some nice artwork. And boom, let's go ahead and jump into this. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so uh, probably a shorter video today, but that's all right. We're going to go through and see what we can find. Lava Serpent, Blade Banish, Keep Safe, Cavern Whisperer, Suffocating Fumes, Fire Prophecy, uh, Forever Beast, Valiant Rescuer, very nice. Uh, that'll be completing my cycling deck. I uh, can't say that one. Ooh, oh, ooh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's nice. Brokos, Apex Forever, Showcase, that's awesome. Great pull. Uh, all right, yeah, that's a good way to start things out here. And a nice Day Squad Marshall foil. Let's get our King Kong pack going. We seem to have decent luck with the King Kong packs. All right, Ambush, Frostfell, that actually goes in my cycling deck too. Very nice. Frost Links. We need a, uh, what is it? The Flare card. Uh, that's, that's the only one I'm missing, I think, from my cycling deck. We'll see if we get it. It's an uncommon, so. Uh, Great Horn, Pangolin, Clash of Titans, Mentor, Lead the Stampede, Classic, and a Crystalline Giant. All right, very nice rare. That's cool. Behind it, a Rugged Highland. Vivian Reed. Maybe we can get a Planeswalker in one of these packs. I have yet to pull one. The Narset would be cool, Vivian would be cool, uh, but we got a Marmoset to start, a Capture Sphere, a Lava Serpent, Scorpion, another Fire Prophecy, another Sabretooth, Great Horn, there's our first showcase, Uncommon, the Trumpeting Gnar, not that cool looking, Huntmaster Liger, Dire Tactics, and Lava Brink Venturer, just a bulk bummer. All right, another Frostvale ambush on this one. Very nice, very nice. Marmoset Flight Startling Development. That's a cycling one, too. Uh, Spring Draw Trap, Boot Nipper, Anticipate, Will, Flame Spill, Cunning Knight Bonder, let's go. And Umori the Collector as our rare, very nice, good companion, Swamp Human Soldier. Oh, man, I'm so used to opening up, like... 15 to 16 packs now. <laughs> this is going to feel really fast to me. We're just going to cruise through this one. That's alright. We haven't done a short one in a while. Uh, Dranath Healer. Very nice. Sphere. Blood Curdle. Recluse. 
Mentor, and oh my gosh, I just bought him. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen too. We got Luris of the Dream Den. I needed him for my cycling deck. And I, you know what, I just got impatient. I said, you know what, I found a good deal on eBay. I'll buy them really quick. If I pull them in my pre-release pack, I can just resell them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to resell them. But uh, $6 card, not bad. Six, $7 card, I should say. But we got the Luris. I I've been wanting to pull them. We finally got them. All right, last pack. We'll see uh, what happens on Monday. There's a band announcement happening for Standard and I believe Modern 2 uh, regarding Companions. So we'll see if Luris gets the... Uh, Gets the ban or not. Cavern Whisperer Showcase, very nice. Plummets, Dranith Healer, Hampening Snare, Blood Curdle, Clash of Titans, Zenith Flare, there's my fourth copy. Uh, that'll complete my uh, my cycling deck now. This is our, our win more card, our, our win card, basically, our win con. Uh, oh, and I needed this one too, Boon of Wishgiver, very nice. Okay, I'm, I'm just set now. And we get a crappy Mythos of Snapdax at the end with a nice foil trumpeting gnar very cool foil on that one but that that's it that's it all right let's see what we can find in our promo let's do this one two three what can we get boom garuga as our promo card very nice uh not bad not bad i'll take him garuga's a cool card i'm thinking he'll see more play in later uh in the future here or something he might see some more play but dinosaur hippo garuga Classic. I think I've pulled like a whole place out of these guys now, but very cool card. All right, I'll take it. So I haven't done this in a while, but I wanted to build a deck around the pre-release kit. If I was doing this in the store, I might try to jam this. I don't know. I was just fooling around and seeing if there's a way to jam the Garuga we got as a companion. So companion starting deck contains only cards with converted mana cost three or greater and land cards. And when it enters, you draw a card for each other permanent you control with converted mana cost three or greater. Uh, so not bad, uh, a little tricky to build around considering everything has to be three or greater. So this is what I came up with. We're running, running 21 cards, 19 lands, and then Garuga is our companion. So we got the Crystalline Giant, uh, Trumpeting Gnar. We're playing uh, blue-green, Simic Colors with a splash of black. Because, uh, of course, we got to get Brokos in there. So Recluse, uh, Mentor, Fertilid. Lead the Stampede to dig for some creatures if we need to. Mentor. Frost Link is a very good card. Uh, Charge of Forever Beast, some removal. Uh, Umori, not as a companion, just as a basic card to come in. And we can choose a card type. And chosen type costs one less to cast. We would probably pick Elemental or Beast. Uh, I think those are the most that we have in here. Two Capture Spheres for some good removal too. Because we're going to be a little bit of a slower deck. Uh, a Great Horn. Two of the crustra Crustrations, they can just block for days, and they've got Flash. Adaptive Shimmer, good beat down a little bit. And we got Frostwell Ambush, just to keep our opponents at bay. We've got two of those as well. A Boon of the Wish Giver for some late game draw four cards, and we can cycle away if we need to. Uh, Archibald Gore is a 7-7, hopefully I said that right, with also a Mutate. Not bad. And then we've got the Brokos Apex Forever as well, just to... Just to get that black splash in there and try to try to work them into the deck. I don't know. I just did this for for fun. But <laughs> let me know if uh, if I built it uh, decently to make Garuga a companion in a pre-release kit. Let me know what you think about it. Conversely, if we didn't want Garuga as our companion, we do have a lot of other really good cards that would go in this build. Uh, Hampering Snare, a couple of those. The Almighty Brushwag, which is a good uh, turn one play. Anticipate. Uh, Spring Draw Trap, just some more removal. Uh, Survivor's Bond, Starling Development, make something big right away. A Ram Through, more removal. Uh, he would be good to have in the deck if he was 3 mana or more, but he's 2 mana. Add 1 mana of any color, spend this to only cast a creature spell. We would need him kind of for Brokos, which makes me think the version without Garuga as a companion in this deck would probably work better. Uh, but, you know, and then a Keep Safe, uh, keep safe nice counter spell, draw a card. All right, so here's our rares of the day. The Snapdex, the Venturer, the Crystalline Giant, Mori the Collector, Lurus of the Dream Den, and our Brokos. I'm not sure what he's valued at, but hopefully he makes or breaks our uh, pre-release kit. I think I paid 24 for the pre-release kit, so we'll see if that helps it out. And then we got the nice Garuga, which might be like 5 bucks, 6 bucks. I don't know. 
All in all though, not bad, not bad. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the pre-release kit opening. If you do want to see more Ikora in the future potentially, make sure to leave a comment down below and subscribe. Next week we're going to be jumping back into some more Force of Will, as you can see all of them behind me here. And we're actually going to be doing the most recent set from Force of Will, Alice Origin 3. 3, I hold up 2, 3. Uh, so that should be pretty fun. That's the first time I've actually gotten one of the new sets from Force Will. I've just been buying all the old sets. So stay tuned for that. That's coming in the mail like tomorrow for me. So next week that should be up. New Ikora, new Force of Will. It's all coming on the channel here. So subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video.